Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face. welcome back to EVE Online. Today I'm going to be running some emerging conduits and I wanted to discuss with you guys actually, it's something about implants. So first off, let's just walk to the emerging conduit and get things started. So as you guys know, there's like a war going on right now. You know, this whole war that is everyone's talking about on the Reddit forums and everywhere. So as far as I understand, it's basically everyone or almost everyone against the Goon Swarm Federation. You know, those big guys, the Imperium or the Imperium, like they're really big. So it seems like almost everyone is fighting against them. And the thing is, what I wanted to discuss to you guys with regards to implants is that you guys really have to be careful not to forget your implants in Citadels. Because the thing is, so I've seen in the forums and Reddit and Facebook groups that people are talking a lot about attacking Tranquility Trading Tower. And for you guys who do not know, Tranquility Trading Tower is actually the keep star that exists in the perimeter system, this one here. And it is actually a, a citadel that has a lot of trading going on it because it's quite self-explanatory. It's called Tranquility Trading Tower, but it is there's an extra a lot amount of trading going on in this one because it's like the, basically the most popular player made trade hub. So there is a likelihood that a lot of people have got their implants in there because it's a very like convenient system or convenient structure to have your implants in because you can like buy a lot of things, switch out implants, you know, uh, just really so you know, right now I am just walking to this rock over here so I can get close to the Triglavian spawn point. But uh, this happened actually a long time ago as well, before the Tranquility Trading Tower was even built actually, before this even existed, this citadel over here. Then what happened was there was these other structures that existed in the system of perimeter. So the perimeter is the system where Tranquility Trading Tower is located in. And there was, I think they were owned by Pandemic Horde. I'm not 100% sure, but at least they were called like I Choose You something. They were I Choose You structures. And there was like this Fortizar that was really popular, I remember. That was uh, basically not a keep star, but it's a little bit small citadel, but it was equivalent of the Tranquility Trading Tower. Like it was a really popular trade hub. And what happened was that eventually the, these um, there was like a war going on, I think. And I think Test Alliance destroyed it. The at least the enemies of the people who owned the I Choose You Fortizar, they declared war on them and they managed to destroy this Fortizar. So do you know, might think, oh well, what does that mean? It's just a, the Fortizar is destroying. Well, the thing is, a lot of people, as I told you before, thought it was a good idea to put their implants in that citadel because they keep on thinking that like, or they are probably thinking that like, you know, it's a trading hub, it's a convenient, it's very convenient to have your implants in citadels because of how the citadels do not have this time to switch clones. So if you're changing, changing clones in a station, you'll have this 24 hour timer to switch clones unless you've got like special skills that reduce it. So it's very convenient in general to have your implants in a citadel, but the problem is that they can be destroyed. And that's what happened when this I Choose You Fortisar got destroyed. This had happened a couple of years ago. Then there, a lot of people lost their implants because they had a lot of expensive clones in there. So this doesn't mean you can't, I'm not trying to say that you shouldn't have expensive implant pods or you shouldn't like switch out clones. What I'm saying is you shouldn't forget about implant clones or clones with expensive implants in citadels because that's what many people had they had forgotten their expensive implants in that fortisar and it had been destroyed so why do i want to talk about this today well because the thing is a similar thing is happening there is a war going on between the people who own the tranquility trading tower and a lot of people are talking about how they have the the people are considering attacking or I think they even have been some form of attack on the Tranquility Trading Tower. It seems to still exist as I can tell I've not got any notification that it's been destroyed because I haven't visited them recently but there have been a lot of talks about attacking the Tranquility Trading Tower and I really want to just stress this a lot that do not keep expensive implants in these kind of high profile structures because they could eventually get destroyed and you will regret it because the thing is like right now so people can uh, say or complain that it's stupid I'm showing this but I don't care. I want to show you guys to for your learning experience. <laughs> I've got high grade crystal implants here, at least in the current clone I'm using. And the thing is, these are worth quite a lot. Total, these high grade crystals are worth what, 1 billion. These are right here. They're not worth that much. They're worth uh, like maybe 100 million, maybe 50 million, something like that. But these guys, these high grade crystals together are worth 1 billion. And you can even have a much more expensive ones. You can have implant, like total implants that go many, many billions. So, what I'm saying is the implants can be worth a lot 
and if you just forget them in the instructions and they get blown up they will be destroyed they do not drop like as a loot drop they do not go to asp safety as far as i understand they just get uh, popped and you really do not want to have that happen to you that'll be very unfortunate because uh, you know I, I, when i run abyss sites and i often use this pod here not all the time but i often do use this pod to run abyssal sites and that is something that worries me a lot like if disconnects happen in the abyss then there's always the potential that I will lose these really expensive implants. And that's also something you really need to think about. It's just that if you're le leaving your implants behind, that unless it's in a station, there's always a chance that you can get blown up. It's like that is one thing that if you're planning on not switching out your implants again, then off, I'd strongly recommend you leave the clone in a station, like an actual station, not the citadels, an actual station. There aren't any right now in the overview, but the thing is the stations they cannot get destroyed so they are basically guaranteed that they will be dead the only problem is it'll take 24 hours before you can switch again but let's say you just want to you're planning not planning on switching your clone out anytime soon and, the, and you want to just leave it there for a long time then it's a good idea to just put it in the station for example i'll show you here my jump clothes i've got these ocular filters these memory augmentations these are just training clothes a spare backup i used to use a long time ago i'm keeping this in g4 caldari business tribunal bureau and this is a station as you can see here and this can never be destroyed so that is why i'm doing it because i'm not planning on using that clone anymore so i keep it there just so it will be safe i don't have to like stress about the always destruction attack is an on attack you know, obviously, this doesn't mean I'm not saying you can't switch out clones. Like often, often I am switching out my expensive clones, but like I'm not doing it for an extended period of time. The thing is, if you do it for an extended period of time, you may forget. Maybe real life comes in the way, you know, and then you just completely forget about the clone, and then suddenly, whoa, what the heck? That fat corp that owned the Citadel, they're under attack. What the heck? Now, now I've lost my billion, multi-billion pod. That will be very unfortunate if that happened. And I hope it doesn't happen to you guys, but. Just, just be careful guys, just be careful when it comes to using your, where you leave your implants. So that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about when it comes to these implants. Just don't forget them, just be care careful and just remember that citadels that get blown up with your empty or with your pods in, they will get destroyed. This doesn't mean that like, say, say I'm docked up in a citadel and uh, I log off and then the citadel gets destroyed then my implants won't drop what happens is that if a citadel is destroyed and you're logged off in the citadel then you will just be floating in space in your pod or in your ship whatever ship you're using but if you like switch a clone and leave the clone in a citadel and you go away and the citadel gets blown up then the pod will be destroyed that's it for what i was going to talk about when it comes to the implants we've got the remaining of the emerging conduit left and it is pretty going pretty good it seems like we're getting a lot of battleship waves and that is also one thing that really helps is that these implants i've got right here they really do help taking out these these ships over here because they really these high grade crystals are very good implants if you want to tank a lot they make it so that my shield boosting is a lot more or at least a significant amount more i think it's like 25 percent more so it's a very very useful tool to have because you can see here i'm using active tank active tanks a lot better than the <laughs> in my opinion a lot better than the, the passive tank i'm never new to that m enough to worry about running out of capacitor i get these six six shield boost you can see here and i'm going for the biggest ships as usual you know something i've actually noticed that there's not i'm not a lot of people actually running emerging conduits recently i don't think i don't know if i'm just lucky or it's just a coincidence but i've hardly noticed any people here in the emerging conduits and it feels like that i'm almost the only one i don't know what's going on because they're dropping actually pretty good loot guys please join me here and i'll make it it'll be good we have more people doing this it'll be fun we have a bit of socializing uh, i'm probably gonna get less loot from recommending that but uh, I, I, it'll be nice to have some you know friends here just you know just chilling about <laughs> because it does it was nice that's one thing i really like about emerging conduits is that there's you got multiple people here you can often socialize with them in the chat or you can just you know compete over loot and that is adds to an element of the gameplay itself i think that's quite interesting Rasnaborg Damovic. I've noticed that you get these Rasnaborg Damovics in here, here and you get also normal uh, Damovics or just normal Triglavians. It's really strange. Uh, you can get just a harrowing Damovic or you can get a Rasnaborg harrowing Damovic. And I do not know what is the difference between the two. And if you guys do know, please let me know in the description. As far as I understand, the Rasnaborgs are kind of like the recon kind of ships, the one that scout out areas of space. 
but I don't know why they would be here. Maybe it's just, like it isn't. I don't understand the actual differences between them. If they're powerful, weaker, or what? It would make sense that they're weaker because they're like a scouting bear. But maybe they will be stronger because they are like they're made to be by themselves out scouting stuff. Okay, let's go and salvage the loot and see what we get. We are gonna. I like. This is what I like to do, guys. I like to take everything. And then at the very end, I check how much I get to have like a big surprise, like, or a really bad surprise. You know, I've salvaged all this stuff, gathered all this loot, and then I just have like, I don't know, five million. That's so disappointing. But this is what I like to do. I like to just go for everything. And then eventually at the end, I just finally just check it. So definitely use salvage ones. They're really, they're really good. They're, they're good for the end. Do not use out. I keep saying this all the time and I see people do this all the time. Do not use salvage drones mid combat. They can get shot up by Triglavians. Triglavians do not like you salvaging their dead comrades' wrecks. Okay, it's a it's an important thing. You need to use onboard salvages if you want to salvage during combat. That's exactly why I have this over here. You can see here, you've only got one wreck left, and these drones are going away, going away, and wrecking these wrecks, <laughs> double wrecks. I've seen people say that they want to make it because that salvaging your own wrecks make it so that you go suspect and i don't know i mean i think it's kind of cool how you can sort of interfere with other people without going suspect because one of the few things you can actually do that do not interfere like that interferes or stealing from other people without you actually going suspect and i don't know what do you guys think do you think you should go suspect if you salvage other people's wrecks do you think you shouldn't i can see it making salvage prices go up quite a bit because you know it'll be a bit risky to salvage but then again it would be it would remove a little bit of aspect of gameplay you know ninja salvage ninja salvaging is a legit profession i've seen many people do that especially here in emerging colonies they're always around here stealing stuff at one point i killed one of them they were dumb enough to steal some loot so they went suspect <laughs> All right, so that's all the loot gathered from the salvage. Let's see what we have in the MTU. Ooh, 16 mil. Okay, that's nice. 16 mil is good right there. Where does it go from? Okay, a lot of, we've got a lot of survey data. That's nice. We didn't get so much of those transconduit things. Ooh, we got nice dank is right here. Let's see, what did we get in total from the whole set? We've got a lot of salvage right there. 38 mil, guys. 38 mil from one side. Or 39 even. But let's just say 38. We don't want to. Because probably it's going to sell for a little bit less. It always is like that. You got a little bit of like the tax fees that you lose. So 38 mil from one side. I'm really happy. And that's it for this video, guys. That's it for the merging conduit done. And that's it for discussing about how you have to be careful. Or at least definitely around these times when war's going on. Be careful with where you keep your implants. Because they can get destroyed if they're left in the citadel. And especially with like all the wars going on. People are destroying stru structures of people left, right and center. You don't want to lose your multi-billion implant pod, okay? That will be really, really bad. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.